Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. This video is a continuance of my giant bead haul series I'm doing from Macari. I think this is part four. I just checked the footage. I've been filming for four hours. So, well, yeah, each part's going to be pretty long, but I'm going to try to trim them and cut them down some. So, anyways, part four. I think I'm most excited about this one because this one, I got some really rare, unique. I got some antique pieces, vintage stuff. Some things that I'm thinking might be worth a lot of money because I was doing some research and I found some stuff that looks similar online to what I got here. So anyways, I'm really excited about this stuff because I never get stuff like this. You, you can't get this kind of the stuff that I got. You can't get this at bead stores. This is some awesome finds. Like you got to go on eBay looking through collector stuff to get this kind of stuff. Or like estate sales so I, I'm really happy about this stuff so let's dig in quit talking about it all right here it is all in my gallon bag I have a few smaller bags in here so I'm going to pull them out and go through them that way let's go through this one here all right so here are some donuts This was the stuff I just recently got. I'm kind of wondering if these are amber or maybe lucite or bakelite. I don't know a lot about that kind of material because uh, I don't have anything like that. But uh, I'm going to show you up close in case you have anything like that. Then you know, maybe know what this is. These are very unusual looking donuts. They're really cool. They have lines going across them in this way. I don't know if you could see that. You can see it there. They're really cool. I kind of want to say they may be something like that. Lucite, big, big light, something like that. This, I believe, is petrified wood. My grandmother used to collect rocks. So did I at the time I was younger. And, um, now I'm all into beads. And shells, and when she passed away, I got her rock collection. And she had a piece of petrified wood. It was, like, this big. I still have it. It is so cool looking. And, um, I, I kind of wonder if this is petrified wood. Because you can kind of see wood grain there. Yeah, petrified wood is really neat. And I'm trying to figure out, is does this have a hole in it? I don't think it does. No. That is so bizarre. There's no hole in this. There is twisted wire loop there. And it goes around. It looks like it's soldered together here. And then there's a twist there. Maybe it's one piece of wire and they twisted it at the end. That's neat. I actually don't remember seeing that piece. And this here, I think, is Fancy Jasper think it is. It looks like Fancy Jasper. And this here, whoa, do not drop and break it, Alicia. This is turquoise. I don't know if it's real turquoise, but it is gorgeous. I love turquoise. It could be. It could be real. And then we have some, I think this is a malachite cabotron. Yeah, I think it's malachite. There's some adhesive stuff in the back there, but that don't matter. Steel works. I can remove that. That's pretty. I think there was two of these, two or three of these. Here is another donut. I love me some donuts. Gemstone donuts, not the sweet ones. Well, I'll eat those too. I'm simple though. I like glazed donuts are my favorite. I'm simple. Oh my gosh. I forgot about this piece. This is so epic. This is shell. It is carved. I think it's one piece. I want to say it's one piece. What? It has two holes. I thought I had one. Oh my gosh. I thought it had one hole. 
there's two holes so I can string it this way I love that that means that this will not flip this will always stay facing the front this is so beautiful I don't think I could ever get rid of this piece to be honest with you I've never seen a shell pendant like this before it is just so detailed and the color is amazing so what I really liked buying these from that nice lady in Makari is she bagged these things individually so they did not get broken and I really appreciate that. This here I think is lapis. It is a huge capshon. Wow this bag is really hard to open. I'm gonna need some pliers. I think this is lapis. What? This is a bead? I didn't know that either. Oh my gosh I'm finding out new things already. There's a hole right there. I thought this was a cabochon. I th I'm going to use it as a cabochon, though. I don't think I'm going to use that hole. It's a really thick, heavy stone. How did I not notice this stuff before? I've had so much stuff that I'm going through. If you're watching all these hauls, then you know the amount of things that I got here. And I told you guys I spent a few hundred dollars on this stuff. Now, I got some really cool boot attendants. And... I need to do more research. This guy here looks like he needs to be cleaned up a little bit. He's a little dirty. I don't know if there's black jade. I know that there is green jade. There's purple jade. It's like a lavender color. There's white jade. Um, there's different shades of green. There's blue jade. But um, I'll have to figure research and figure this out. Maybe I'll like, do some research and I'll label some things. But uh, he, he's a little dirty. I gotta clean him up. But he's cute. So these are the scarabs I was talking about. In my last video, I showed you guys a lapis bracelet that had a carved scarab bead like this on it. And there's a sticker here like it was priced individually. Um, I thought they were ceramic. The other one looks ceramic. So I don't know if these are two. They might be. My aunt, she used to make ceramic pieces. She actually did plates. She did stoneware stuff. But she also made jewelry with her ceramics. These are so cool. I'm a huge fan of the Mummy movie. The original one, the first one. I like the second one too, but the first one was my favorite. And um, in that movie, there were scarabs beetles that were inside the wall and uh, there was this guy trying to get him out I don't know if you saw it or not but um, the scarab came to life they were so cool and I bought a few years ago um, ceramic scarab beetle beads and they were pricey so these here they, they look like they're something that's collectible so I'm thinking they, they, they must be some fancy all right these here I was so excited about these so this is really weird a lot of the things that I got in this haul were things that I was looking for individually online okay for like the past year I've been looking for little things here and there but I either couldn't find them or I did find them and they were too overpriced and I didn't get it or I was just holding off on getting it so for example these are, I think, jade turtle shell beads. They have two holes. I went online last month, and I was looking for turtle beads. Now, I have um, the new turtle beads. You can get them at Michael's. I think they're made out of resin. They're casted. They're super detailed. They're beautiful. They have heads and feet and even a tail on the turtle beads. But um, I was looking for stone turtle beads like these and also bone ones and I found one that was carved bone it was a bracelet but uh, someone else bought it before I got to and uh, I bought this and these here were in two different bags and um, they're so cool now this is just a shell a turtle shell it doesn't have a head but I still love them and I think they're jade look at how cute two holes isn't that cute? So these are probably a bracelet and they were taken apart. But look at the back of the shell. Like, they're not all the same. They're different, the shells. See this one? They have different patterns. Isn't that cute? So cute. Look at this one. Those two match. I love these so much. Turtles are my favorite animals. Turtles and dogs. 
And it's not just the top of the shell that's carved, but also the bottom is carved. How cool. Some of them are like really detailed and perfect. That one's pretty. Anyways, I was, I was just so excited that I found this. Especially since I was looking for it. And what are the chances that I would get this in this haul after searching for this for a while? What? There's two of these. I thought there was just one. This must be the bag that I recently got. And I, I don't think I spent too much time looking through it. I spent so much time on those beads. Because I had to sort those. But these here, I only looked through this stuff a few times. So this one here is another lapis. This one looks like it has more pyrite in it. This one also has a hole drilled at the top. But I think I will still bead around this one. Man, I would like to make a piece that looked like Egyptian piece, especially with the scarabs. Ooh, these are heavy too. Those are very heavy. I think I might put those into individual bags. Here's another Buddha. I think this guy is a, another jade piece. It's called emerald jade because it's dark. I saw that some jade has wax on it, like depending on, I don't see anything here. This one has carving on the back, the other one didn't, did it? No, the other one's flat, but this one has some detail in the back. That's really cool. Okay, and then, I was trying to find that one on eBay. There's so many different ones. Here is another Malachite Cabochon. I think there was two or three of these. This one's really pretty. Because it's got that circle right there. I think I need to wash some of these. That one's really epic. Look at that. And then, these here, I don't know what this is. I don't know if this is jade. I gotta look for these. But man, these are awesome. Look at how big these are. These are huge beads. Huge. They're so cold. Beautiful. I'll show you the, the patterns close up. Aren't those incredible? I am just so blown away by this stuff. And then this here, I bought this in one bag and then she had another bag that had some more of these. So I think I might find these in another bag. Some of these have pinch bales, but I don't th I don't really like pinch bales. I don't trust them. You know, they're kind of easy to open, I feel like. So I probably won't be using these. But there is the hole right there without pinch bale. I would rather do wire wire wrapping. Pass a wire through there. You know what else I like doing with stones like this though? Is I'd like to take filigree and lay it on top and then you know put a jump ring through there or wire because it just makes the piece look so much more interesting and especially since filigree is like really thin it, they just they really help each other out um, making this plain piece which is pretty but uh, filigree makes it look so much better and also just small charms that are flat that look good on this and you can glue them in place too if you want to and because it is gemstone if you do glue it um, you're gluing it on this surface here, which will hear well, but later on, if you want to, you can easily take it off. Get an X-Acto knife. E6000 comes off with um, alcohol, so you can 
remove that easily with alcohol. I use 90% by the way. And then on some more goodies, here is another cab. This one's also very pretty. Two of these Malachite cabs are like really fancy. Oh my gosh, that one looks like it has glitter in it, but I know it's not glitter because it's gemstone. Do you see that? It's sparkling. I don't remember if I took these out of the bags or not. I, I've gone through so much that it's just, it's been so overwhelming for me. And then trying to get beading done and trying to get videos in. And like I said, it's been a week since I've done videos, so I feel bad. But yeah, and then crushing my finger and all that. Going crazy with short fingernails. This is lapis. Or is it sodalite? I'm actually not sure. I think it's lapis. But I love this darn donut. It's really cool. Usually I see donuts. They are shaped like this. Right? I've never really seen a donut like this. This is real fun for me. That's really cool. And then... We are getting into some more carved pieces. There are some really unique things in here, y'all. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at this koi. He's so cute. I love the fish. Man. He is cute. And then here are some other pieces. Wait a second. What's going on with this? Why does this seem so strange? I wonder if this is from something. It seems like it is missing something going around the edge or something. I don't know. That's the bag. That's definitely a bag. It almost looks like it's missing a frame or something. And then this here. I don't remember seeing this. Is that glue? Yeah. Hey, is this that cat's eye stuff that I was finding earlier? I don't know. This would be really cool to beat on. I've beaded on objects like this. I've I've done seed beading around rectangle beads and also wire work. And you can do some really neat things with triangle and rectangle shapes. Oh, I love these. Look at this. They are owls. I don't know what the stone is. But look at these little owls. Ain't they cute? They're so cute. Look at their backs, their wings, detail. These are so cool. There's actually three of them. It's like a little family. Little family of owls. And then these here, which maybe are like coins or tokens. I like those. And another one of these. This one is very similar to that one. Maybe it's not missing anything. Because that one kind of has that raised surface too. See that? Is that another black stone? Yes. I didn't know there was two of these. This does have glue on it. Comes right off though. I'll put these together. Oh my gosh. Earrings made out of those. Seed beads around them. Like Delicas. That would be cool. Oh here's the bunny. It's a jade bunny rabbit. Look how cute! Where's the whole lot? It's right there at his feet. Look at that. It's a little bunny. Isn't that cute? 
And then this is a dragon. There's actually a little cord on there. Look at that off later. It's a tiny little dragon. So cool. I love this stuff. And this, I have no idea what this is. No idea. Is it broken? I don't know. Is it a flower? I can't tell. This one here I'm thinking might be Jade. I didn't see this in the picture because it was kind of from a distance but close up there is this old man with a beard or an old lady with a beard you never know anyways it's pretty cool I like all the holes in it because of all the holes there's so many different ways that it can be used I think that I would definitely if I make this into a necklace it would probably be a necklace I would have like string it like this with cord coming from here and then down here I'll have dangles or something I don't know think of something this is a very hefty piece it's really neat it's kind of dirty I need to wash it what another one of these donuts this is so lightweight. That is one thing that I, another thing, should I say? Well, I say one thing, but really another thing I need to look into is Lucite and Bakelite. I know that, are they like plastic? It's like some kind of plastic. I know it's like vintage or antique. But this, whatever this is, has, is the same thing as those other donuts. But there are these lines on it. Do you see that? First I thought it was amber, but maybe it's not. I'm wondering if it's vintage. I don't think it's plastic. Unless Bakelite is plastic. Here's some more pieces that are carved. These are so cool. That one has two holes. This is also neat. double-sided and then here's these again told you I had more these ones here have a different shape I believe this is some kind of what's it called Jasper I believe it's some kind of jasper. There's a bunch of them. Cat hair everywhere. I'm going to put them all together in one bag. those donuts in another bag too and then these here there's another fish look at him he's so cute I think he's Jade look at that isn't that cute both sides are carved this one's also dirty you need to wash them the dirty fish who, who would think there'd be such a thing right they're always in water but not this one. He refuses to be in water. So cute. Did I just put this in the wrong bag? And then this. I don't know what this stone is. But it's cool. This would look really neat with wire wrapping around it. Even beading.
And this upcoming bead I'm about to show you guys is incredible. I've never seen anything like it before. Not this one, the next one. This one's a cool bead though. I don't know if it's a turquoise or not, but it is gorgeous. Has some weight to it. It's gorgeous. Now for the next bead. This bead is probably the most exciting thing in this entire bag. I mean, everything's really cool, but this here is so incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. It's definitely the biggest bead I've ever seen. But the detail, the carving on this... I guess they're monks? There's two, there's four people on it. All the way around. That's the top. And then look at this carving. The detail is so amazing. And look how it's hollow inside. It's heavy too. And I don't know what this is made of. It could be bone. That's actually a tree. I'm just not realizing that. That's a tree going up between them. And then there's leaves here at the top. Is there another? There's another tree on this side. That is so cool. This is definitely one of the most amazing beads I've ever seen. I'm really in awe of this one. This is just incredible. I'll have to find out what that's made of. Alright, I'm going to put this away. Here is another bag. This one has less stuff in it. These are actually beads. And I didn't know it, but there's another darn cinnabar bead in here. These cinnabar beads were scattered, just like I was talking about earlier. How I kept finding several beads that were scattered everywhere. This cinnabar bead was one of them. So I will have to put this with the others that are like it. Isn't that huge? That's a big bead. Let's I'll set that to the side. I'm going to put that in the other spot. And this bead. This was in another place too, wasn't it? There was four of them in my green bag. What's this black one? Wow. That's really... That is really shiny. It's almost like a mirror. Alright. Uh, this here, I gotta look up this. I saw this one in Jade. Mine's black. This is a flower. And it was really pricey in Jade. I'll have to clean that off. Looks like there was a uh, tape there. But look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. I don't know if this is Jade. I don't, I don't remember if there's black Jade or not. But that is so pretty. That is a beautiful pendant. Man, is it shiny. If I clean that off right there, it would be even shinier. The hole is right there. What a beautiful piece. It is heavy, too. I am so excited to have this. And then I got some little Buddha heads. Some detail. Hole goes through the middle. More jade. So cool. So darn cool. Oop, just dropped him. Oh, get in there. Get in the bag. What is this one? I don't remember seeing this one. Whoa, what is this? Oh my gosh, I have to put this up to the light. This is green. You can't really see it. It's a flashlight somewhere. Where'd it go? Over here. Let me see. See that? It is green. That's a cool bead. But I, it looks like there's a luster finish on it. Almost like a mirror. And then we have these, these carved beads. I had some of these 
in my green beads, but they're smaller. Whoa, this one's different. So pretty. I, think, I, I believe this is jade again, too. I thought the size of their holes. And then this one here. Oh my gosh, that one has a boot on it. And then another person on the other side. I don't know who that one is. I think this side's the Buddha. There's somebody else on that side. Those are so cool. I'm going to put them together. And then the cab. Wait a second. Didn't I have it? Right here is a smaller one. This is a lapis cab. Big one. It looks like the same size as the ones that I bought. Here's some other cabs. Leopard skin. Jade. More lapis. Lapis. Jade. Rose quartz. Lapis. There's a lot of lapis. More jade. Something black. I'll put these together. So all my jade, or all, not my jade, my, uh, all my cabs have one box. And then this is an enormous tiger's eye bead. Whoa, wait a second. Is this tiger's eye or is this petrified wood? It kind of looks like petrified wood, but it does have that flash there that the tiger's eye has. And I still have more to go, y'all. After this, there is still another bag of these carved pieces. Now, I don't know what these are. These are so bizarre, bizarre looking. We'll put the flashlight to this. Is this some kind of an agate? Oh my gosh, you know what it looks like to me? It looks like a shark egg. Have you ever seen a shark egg with a live shark in it? It is creepy. It looks just like this, but there is a baby shark in there. Usually they spin around in circles, swim inside. It's, it's kind of freakish. Maybe this is agate? I'm going to open all of them. Oh my gosh, that one's really pretty. I didn't really check these out. I, I just looked at these through the bag. I didn't take these out. So first I'm doing this with you guys. Maybe this is some kind of an agate. This is so cool. This one has a lot of patterns on it. Not not very transparent. This one's just kind of transparent. Oh! Those are really cool. Neat shape, huh? That one's really dark. I thought there was five, but it looks like there's six. This one's a little... Transparent layer light actually passes through that one. This one's more of an oval shape. Uh -huh. That's cool. Alright, I'm going to turn this light off. And then another Buddha head. So there's two of these. They pretty much look the same. Alright, I'm going to put all these back into their baggies. We have another bag here of carved pieces to go through. Look at that one. It's so big. It's huge. Here is Tiger's Eye. Big pendant. This one here, for this one, I would like to do 
cord or do um, loops of seed beads where I, I wrap multiple loops of seed beads through here then I go up to like a bigger bead but at the bottom I definitely want to have like a beaded tassel coming off of this piece it is really thick very chunky piece it's really gorgeous and then we have these here more carved pieces these look so old now this one here looks like it has a little damage but I think that just adds character really because look at it it's pretty darn old and it's beautiful we could wrap cording around here wire if if you don't like that you can hide it that way but um I don't mind it there's another piece again I think it would be cool to do a dangle on the front of this have charms there like a little chain with beads on it like remember I showed you guys earlier the garnet that I have was on a chain and it looked like little berries dangling off of it that was cute oh my gosh okay so here is a huge find this is a Z bead I don't know if you guys ever researched these but the really old ones the ancient ones can be worth like thousands of dollars this one here I have not found online yet but there is another one that I found and, and I'll, I'll, I'll talk to you about that one when it comes up but um do you see the pattern in this one the circles they call them eyes so this one has one two three eyes and then it has the wave pattern there on the side this one's very dark it's really pretty I have to find this one but they can be worth like thousands of dollars believe it or not because they're ancient but they do make them today now they figure out how to make them they're made out of agate but earlier I showed you that I had Z beads out of Z beads made out of petrified wood if you saw my earlier um, video I don't remember which number it was we're number four right now right yeah I think I'm a number four or my three I don't know I'm, I'm losing count there's just so much here is a pendant it is carved there's a dragon on it look at how cool right there is his head that is so epic I don't know what this one is made out of but it is beautiful and I told you guys in a previous haul video from I think it was Dollar Bead Box about how things are detailed like this, like glass. I don't think I'm gonna do it to this, but like to bring a detail out of this because from a distance it's just a blur. You can't tell what's going on. But to bring detail like this, you can take acrylic paint, nail polish, paint it on, and then buff it off with a paper towel, and all the paint goes into the creases and the details and it just explodes and you can see that design so well but um this here being a carved gemstone I don't think I would do that it would be easily to remove though it's not permanent you can remove it but uh it's great to do with glass or something that's not you know worth a lot of money I I've done a lot with bone but yeah that's something I want to remind you about and we have some more jade here jade beads well this one's a bead my sister liked this one a lot. She said this was her favorite one. It has a huge hole. It's really cool. I'm just blown away by all these pieces. And here is Jade Pendant. So fancy. all this fancy stuff now I'm gonna be scared to make something with it and then I have a, a feather here and this is really neat the color on it I can't believe how it's colored like this it almost looks like it's fake like it's not a real gemstone because the color it just looks like it's painted it's so perfect 
beautiful that piece. And it's thick too. Look how thick. Very long. It's like three inches long. It's as wide as my hand. Alright, let's go for that big carved pendant here. This one. I don't know what this is made out of, but it's double sided. Where does it start? This way? Oh, tag stripping on me. This is incredible. Where is the top? Is this the top? I thought it went like this. I think, oh, this is the top. There's a dragon head. There and there. So that their mouths are like kissing. This must be the top. This side's darker. Yeah. So thick it is. It is huge. It is a huge piece, by the way. Like, it's the size of my palm. It's really big. I like these holes because I can use those. I can put cord through there. I can put jump rings. I'll probably do cord, though. I love it. It's neat. And then we have this here. I was trying to find this. eBay has so many collectible pieces like this. But um, this here, I think it's jade. I think it's called the emerald jade. And I was trying to find this donut on their site. I love it how it has... Oh wait, it's not swirly patterns. There's two dragons. Alright, I thought this was swirly like cloud patterns when you look this way that's what you kind of see right but turning it this way I'm now actually seeing that there is a dragon head right there and right there and this is his body going all the way down here and then this one's body is over there and this is probably the center of the pendant so I could probably put a cord through there or a jump ring but I didn't see that before I was looking at it though when I first looked at this in the dark. It's a thick stone. Here's some more carved pieces, another jade. Lots of jade. This matches those jade beads that I love so much. It's that real pale jade that I love. There's the back. Beautiful color. And here is another fish. And a bead. An incredible carved bead. Where'd my other fish go? I want to see the size difference between them. Oh, who is in the other bag? I already put that away. This one I think is smaller than the other one, but this one has like the color of this feather. Like they're made out of the same stone. It's so cool. Both sides are carved. And this bead here is so incredible. Look at that. I want to make something like this. I want to carve my own bead. There's dragon. There's his head. There's a dragon over there. Flip it that way. So that's his body going around. So cool. And then I'm trying to save that bead for last. That might, that bead that is so awesome. I don't know what this stone is, but that's cool has a large hole at the top compared to some of the other ones. Teardrop. And like I said, I like to put filigree with those. Here is some more. This one's bizarre. I 
What is that? No, that's that's right. I can't tell what that is. But it's very pretty. It's like etched. Can you see that? It is actually etched. I can feel that with my nail. Put that away. Oh, this is the horse. Why oh, didn't shut this though? I shut that one. This one has a horse on it. Or like, like I like to say, a pony. I used to watch My Little Pony when I was a little girl, so. He looks like a pony. Isn't that pretty? Now this would be really awesome. There's a dragon right here too. This would be really awesome with paint in it. Gold paint to make the, the details pop. Because for me, from a distance, it really is kind of like a, a blur. You can't really tell what's going on. But man, if you put some gold paint in there, make that detail pop, it would be really pretty. It's beautiful. And then there's this here. This is a neat stone. This looks so old. I love this old stuff. Oh, it's double sided. That's awesome. Okay. Here is another carved pennant. It kind of looks like the pony. The kind of a stone that it is. But this one is a snake, a cobra. This one here looks a little rough. So this one here might be like the one to do it with. The paint, like I said. I don't know though. I do kind of like the rustic beaten up look too. That's also a, th a thing, you know? Isn't that neat? And then this one here, which make me makes me think of crop circles. Look at that. Does that make you think of crop circles? The spirals. I think this one's jade too, because it also has that look to it. And then this donut, I don't know what this stone is, but man. I kind of thought that it was like smoky quartz, but smoky quartz is more transparent. The color is really bizarre. There's a, there's a swirl going through here. Do you see this swirl? It's a big donut. I think it's a 50 millimeter donut. I beaded these. Do you guys remember the tutorial that I did with these? I beat it around these. I'll, I'll try to find the, a picture and put that in. And then this is the last thing, okay? And I've saved the best for last of this part of the video, because next part. Wait a second. I don't know. I don't know how long this is gonna be. I don't know if I'm gonna have to do five parts or six parts. Uh, that one's the best one. I'll, I'll do this one. I don't know about this one. I'm not researched this one. This one I have. So this one here. This one is also probably jade. It's another carved bead. It is so epic. Really thick, heavy bead. There is a dragon face right there. Do you see its face? It's on both sides this side and that side that is so gorgeous all right so this bead I have not researched and found that one yet but this bead here I have this is a Z bead and I found this on eBay for three thousand dollars I swear it's the same exact one I showed my brother and my sister and they're like yeah that looks like the same bead um, but the picture that the person took, theirs is a little darker, and uh, I'm thinking that my camera is probably doing uh, this here justice, and you're seeing it, but um, I have never seen 
a ZB like this one before and the new ones that they're selling today. This has what looks to me, sometimes I think I'm like colored line between blue and purple, but I'm seeing like blue and purple and there's like turquoise right there. It has nine eyes on it. It is just epic. I'll try and take a screenshot of the one that I sold for $3,000 on eBay and put it in now. And if I didn't get a screenshot, if it's no longer up, maybe I'll put a link to this down there in the description so you can go to it yourself and look at it yourself. But yeah, isn't that epic? If, if this is worth $3,000, I don't think that I would sell it unless I really need the money uh, because it, it's just incredible. And I am a lover of beads, so yeah. And that piece is epic right there. I don't know. Z beads are supposed to be ancient. If you Google it, um, they say that they're ancient beads that come from a people. They don't know who made them, but it's made out of agate. They don't know how they were made, but today we've come up with our own way of making them, something like that. You just gotta look into it for yourself, and it's really interesting. All right. So I'm going to go on to the next bag. I don't know how long this part is. I don't know if I should do it at part six or what. I'm going to put everything away and then um, I'll go on to my next bag. All right, so I'm going to try and show you guys this bag here is glass. I'll try and show you that one here quickly. This one here, though, some there are some amazing finds in that bag. And then the other one is shell pearls. And I was going to show you how to tell the difference between um, glass pearls and shell pearls. I talked to you about that in part one when I showed you all the cultured fresh little pearls that I had. But anyways, this bag here has some really neat finds in it. So these here are ceramic. There was only two of these. But I thought these were really neat. I also collect ceramic beads. And I don't have any ceramic beads like these. They have huge holes and beautiful colors and patterns on them. And then these here, these are unique. This is something else I'm going to have to research. These amazing finds here. These are metal. They're hollow. I don't know what kind of metal. It's a really unique color. I don't know if they are tarnished or if they are supposed to be this color, but wow, are they gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. Both of them. Both of them are incredible. So I, I don't know if you guys know anything about this bead, if you've ever seen anything like this, let me know in the comments. Oh, and here is a necklace that is made with similar beads that's there. I thought this was going to be in the findings, but I guess I put it in here. This one here is a charm, I guess. That one's bent. There we go, I fixed it. But you could tell these are really old pieces. So old, but this stuff right now is so popular. And jewelry making, this really old stuff that looks like it's from a long time ago. So there, there's another one. Those would make incredible earrings. That jump ring is actually soldered. Yeah. So this is caught up on that wire. And then that comes off there. Okay. So I could make earrings out of these ancient looking pieces. And then this here that's a bell but that's like an extender chain there someone cut that link and then there's these beads look how cool they look like the Russian dolls that you stack inside of each other oh look at his face it's different on each side isn't it I wonder if these are handmade because it's not the same on each side. It's a little bit different. It makes me think that they're, they're handmade. Look at that closure. 
Look at this chain. That's a cool chain. I've actually done this with rubber bands before, but I've never seen a chain made like that. Very cool piece. Okay, now for the beads. These here, again, are just like these. Some kind of metal. These beads are dirty. I need to wash them. Dirty beads. Look at this. This is heavy. It's metal. Some kind of a metal I've never seen before. But there is a dragon. Where is his head at? Did I pass his head? The detail is incredible, but look, the detail is so much that it like overtakes the bead and I can't even tell what's going on. There's his head. I had it upside down. Okay. So right here is his face. There's his eyes. See that? And then there's his body going all the way around. There's a claw right there, hand, his tail. His tail's wrapped around. So epic. And it is a huge bead. It's like that giant turquoise one I had earlier. And then here are two smaller ones. Now, one of these was with this one. And then the other one was in another bag that I bought separately. So, thank goodness I bought the other bag. Because I would only have these two. But I have a pair. I have the pair. They're, they're together. I got them together. So, I'm thankful for that. They're just so cool. I cannot believe the things that I got in this in this collection of beads. There, there's some incredible finds here. I wonder what this metal is. It's aged beautifully. Whatever it is, it's aged beautifully. Here are some beads. These are new beads, by the way. They're tarnished to beauty, though. These here are not new, though. These are these are cool. I actually wonder if these are sterling silver or what's it called? Hill Tribe silver or something like that. These ones here are plastic. I could tell because they're very lightweight. But plastic um, metal coated beads are pretty good quality. So yeah, we'll put those away. And you guys gotta see these cloisonne beads. I got some epic cloisonne. Now I showed you in a BB craft haul some six millimeter cloisonne beads that I got. And there are new cloisonne beads and then there are the old ones. So this one here is the newer one, okay? I could tell it's newer because the gold that's in between, by the way, all this color that you see, that is enamel. And enamel is glass. So this is glass enameling. But the gold that you see, that little, what looks like a rope, that is raised, okay? You can feel that. It's raised above the glass. So th those there are coin shaped, which I've never seen coin shaped until now. Aren't those cool? They're coin shaped. And then I got the round ones. Now in my stash, I have this size. Okay, but I've not had any bigger than that, but now I do. And then there's these here, which really look Christmassy to me. But do you see how the gold is raised? above the enamel. This is the newer Poisonite bead, okay? This one here is the old Poisonite bead. Now, I don't know if these are antique or not. I do know that they're very old, but um, I don't think they make them like this anymore. This one here is the more beautiful one, so if you ever see somebody selling these Poisonite beads, snatch them up, especially if it's this one. Okay, so this is the new one. See, and this is the old one. See the hole? Look at the hole. See how decorative that one is? This old one? This one's smooth. Like, you can feel the gold on it, but barely. Like, it's really smooth and it's very level. The enamel is very leveled with the gold. But this one here is very bumpy. You can totally feel all the, the gold on that one. 
So this here, um, this was a smaller thing of beads that she had. This was not in the gallon bag. But um, this was just a smaller grouping of beads that she was selling. And I grabbed this because I saw these poisonings and I, I really wanted them. I have these in black in my um, bead stash. And they are gorgeous. Black with pink flowers. Look at that. They're very... I wouldn't say heavy, but they do have weight to them. They're hollow metal bead. But they have that glass enameling on top. They're just gorgeous. Right? So, I can't believe I got this many. I'm a little shocked. Put these all back. Now, if you drop them, you probably will chip some of the glass off. I saw that some of the glass was coming off these ones. Now here are some more of those Japanese, Chinese looking beads, but these ones are not as fancy as those other ones. These ones, they're, they're hollow. I think the other ones are hollow too, but these ones are like filigree. Yeah, I guess that's what they would be. They're like filigree. This one here is messed up. I might be able to bend this one back. I've done it before with metal filigree beads. I had some that were like out of shape. But I've took my pliers and I've used my fingers and I bent them back to shape. Oh yeah, I could totally fix this. Look at that. I've already, I've already helped it some. I'll have to get a knife and lift that up. Push that inside. Dent there out. But yeah, I want to save him. Aren't they cool? They're so cool. My hands are dirty. They're dirty beads. Some of these two were also scattered throughout the bead stash that I bought here, so I had to... Now, these, these are ceramic, but they have gold in them. Beautiful green. Look at that green. It is so pretty. It has that that Chinese pattern or Japanese pattern on them. See that? The ceramic. This was on a necklace. I took the necklace apart. There was actually nothing wrong with the necklace though. It was totally intact. It had the clasp in it. But um, I, I would rather use these as beads than have them as a necklace. It was a long necklace. It was like 20, 24 inches maybe. And they're 8 millimeter. And then I still have more. These are ceramic too. Oh, those are cloisonne. Those are incredible. I've never seen cloisonne like those before. These are ceramic too. These are super decorative. Look at that. So pretty. I, I thought these were cloisonne when I first saw them. And then when I picked them up, I realized that they were ceramic. But the gold on them, there's a bird. I didn't, I didn't see that before. Look at that bird. That's really neat. I love those. They have big holes too. These poison in here. These are fancy. Really fancy. So this is that old poison I was talking about, how it's smooth. The pattern on it is really pretty. Look at that. Real high quality. I love that. So gorgeous. There's another one. And there's a pair of them too. Glass enameling is amazing. And then these here. This is so bizarre. It, it's like they did not put enameling in the background, but look how bright gold they are. I thought they would be darker. I thought they would tarnish more, but they're not. They're very bright. That's the end. This kind of looks like something that would be in King Tut's tomb to me. Doesn't it? Just look at that. Man, those are cool. 
they're heavy too I like that also they got nice weight I'll probably put those two in their own individual bags to keep them safe and these these here these are also cool these are cloisonne but again like those long ones they don't have enameling in the background it's not filled up it's just the flowers that's enameled isn't that cool look at that this one here too this one's an oddball it's tiny but look at how cool cute very pretty this one's an oddball that one has pink flowers this one doesn't And then we have some more cloisonne. These are uh, not cloisonne. Yeah, there is cloisonne, but these ones here are ceramic. And I got another fishy bead. I love the fish. It's a ceramic fish. Look at the detail on him. So cute. I have some ceramic fish in my bead stash. I got them from Joanne's, I think. Had them. But they don't have detail like this. Like, he's really detailed. There's a black one. I think I have this one. Just one in my bead stash. But again, I love those. Beautiful ceramic. And again, they from a distance, they kind of look like the cloisonne. Here are some cloisonne. These ones here, I think, were a little damaged. Green. I still love them, though. This one here. It's a little rough. That one here is missing a little bit of glass. And then there's this color, which is like a reddish-brown. Oh, that one's different. I didn't realize that. That one's really pretty. See that? An oddball there. I will also probably split these up into their own bags. Just because I don't let them banging around on each other. They're glass, you know? Enameled metal beads. So the glass does chip off. These ones here... The newer ones, they had some glass fragments in the bag when I opened those. Is this bag closing? No. Oh, I had one of these before that would not close on me. Anyways, go on to the last one here of the cloisonne, and then I'm going to show you the shell pearls. And then I'm going to have to look through the glass beads. It's running out of time here. These are epic, y'all. Look at these. Oh my gosh. Looks like something a pharaoh would have. The color is incredible. Like, looking at the enamel on this, it's not just one color that's in a flower. It's multiple. It's like ombre. The colors. Even the leaf. Look at the leaf. There's two different greens in the leaf. The detail is just incredible. I I've never seen these cloisonnade beads before. Seen this kind and then this one here. And I have these in white and black in my bead stash. But those are just unbelievable. Okay, I'm gonna put these back and then we're gonna move on to the last few bags. The shell pearls, and I told you when I was going through the cultured freshwater pearls that there is a way to tell if a pearl is glass or if it is a shell pearl. Now these here I think might be glass. I did not check them. They are really heavy and I know the shell pearls are heavy but um, th these are kind of strange to me. I know that they're man-made. They're not natural. They're painted. That's for sure. Well, there's some funky shapes. They could be shell pearl. Let me see. Hmm. 
I don't know. There is a lot of paint on them. It's hard to tell. Band-Aid's coming off. Oh no! Okay. That's those. And then... These here were shell pearl. These are shell pearl. This color is gorgeous. Very unusual shape too. It's kind of like an egg shape, but the hole's going through the middle. It said long ways. And then these, I thought these were Swarovski pearls. But after looking at them, they're shell pearls. So I'll show you on the big white ones that I got. These were shell pearls. I'm trying to speed up here because I know this video is going forever. These were shell. More shell. These ones are glass. And I could totally tell they were glass instantly by looking at them because they got big holes. See that? Big holes. And you can see the glass on this one coming through. Glass pearls Normally, when you look at the hole, the hole is big. It's bigger than the Swarovski pearls, than the Czech pearls. They have tiny holes. These here are shell pearls. The luster on them are incredible. They look kind of like saltwater pearls. They're so pretty. But when you take a light to them, you can see... I don't know if you're going to be able to see it in my camera. Let me see if I can take a bigger one. You can see the shell that's inside of it, formed. This one I can kind of see. It looks like my light flashlight is flashing, but it's not. So when you put this to the light, you will see little fractures, lines, swirls, and the bead. That's because it's a shell pearl. When you put a glass bead to a flashlight, it is just transparent. You'll see the paint on it maybe, like globs of paint where the paint is thick, but you won't see any markings. But with these, the shell pearls, you could see the actual shell underneath the paint. That one there, that one really has it. Do you see that one, the lines in this one? Maybe if I go like this. There are lines in that. Swirl patterns, you can see little cracks and stuff, those are shell pearls. Anyways, that's how I could tell the difference between those. And then these here are also shell pearls. This is a big variety mixture. love that bronze one. Pink. Purple's pretty. Golden yellow. This one here is so gorgeous, but it's only half drilled. So I stuck a needle in this and it goes down like a quarter of an inch so I can get, um, I have some that came with the stuff that I got from her. It's like a pin with an eye at the end and you glue it in place and then you use it as a charm. But the luster in this, so beautiful. It's like a rainbow, man. That one is beautiful. This one's pretty too. Look at that one. And then this one here, this bag is oddball things that I found in all the bags. This is a dolphin. His tail's broken. I'm sad about that. Still try to use them somehow though. And this was a blue lace agate. Or not blue. Is it agate? It's blue lace. Yeah, I think it's blue lace agate. This is an expensive stone. I was so happy when I found this and I was thinking I was going to find more but I only found one. But I want to use this in micro macrame because I have designs that I'm doing where I only need one bead and it's a big bead like 10 millimeter, 8, 9 millimeter bead so I can use that in something like that. 
All right, these are shell pearls or glass pearls. I don't know, I didn't take a flashlight for those. But um, I have one bag left of glass. But I think I'm going to do that with the rest of the stuff in my next part. So I'm going to stop here and I will film um, the, that glass beads with the other findings. A lot of findings, some really cool findings that I've never had before. I'm really excited to have those. So this is it. Look out for the next part, part five. I think that will be my last part. Yeah, part five. Yeah, I've been filming for hours, so I hope that you guys are enjoying this. I'm hoping that you're seeing some interesting things that you've never seen before, like me. Like, I'm really impressed with some of these carved pendants. I've never seen stuff like this before. And if you have seen some of this stuff and you know what it is, let me know in the comments, because um, I think it's just so interesting to learn what these stones are, where they came from. It's neat, stuff like that. So, yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video please like this video leave me a comment subscribe if you want to see more of my videos and make sure you click the bell button so that you get notified whenever i upload new videos and check me out on my social media sites i'm on facebook instagram pinterest and twitter thanks for watching and look out for